please pass me my magic book. Show sure is. Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Today's story is entitled, Olivia and the Parakeet. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Olivia who never had a pet. In fact, Olivia's family had never had any pets, at least none that nine-year-old Olivia could remember. She'd heard her parents talk about a dog they once had, but that must have been before Olivia was born. Their home was a quiet one, and Olivia knew that if she ever had a pet, it would have to be one that didn't make much noise. It couldn't be a dog, or even a cat. Perhaps a fish, or a small bird would do. Olivia started reading as much as she could about birds and fishes, and she would sit and think about which kind she would get someday. Olivia's parents surprised her on her birthday with a card that said, Happy birthday, daughter. Let's go get you a pet. She was so excited, and she jumped up and down and hugged her parents. I'm going to get a pet, she exclaimed for all to hear. This was going to be the best birthday ever. But what would she get, a fish or a bird? That Saturday morning, Olivia's parents took her to the local pet store that was just two blocks away. Upon entering the store, Olivia was surprised to see how many different types of birds and fishes there were in the store. The storekeeper saw that Olivia looked confused, and so he went over to help her. The storekeeper then talked with Olivia's parents, and they decided that the small bird would be the best pet for Olivia. They picked out the prettiest parakeet and a nice cage, and then Olivia and her parents went home. The next day, Olivia asked her dad if she could go to the pet store, and he said yes. Olivia walked the two blocks to the store and was happy to see the open sign in the window. Walking into the store, she saw the storekeeper and said to him, You told me that the parakeet I got yesterday would sing and talk to me, but he just sits in his cage and does nothing. The storekeeper replied, You mean he didn't peck at his bell and then start singing? His bell? Olivia replied. He doesn't have a bell in his cage. You didn't buy a bell? A bird like that needs a bell to help him get into the mood for singing. When he pecks it, he hears the tone, and then he tries to make that sound with his own singing. You need to get him a bell. How much is the bell? Olivia asked the storekeeper. This little bell is four dollars, said the storekeeper. Olivia bought a bell and walked back home. The next afternoon, Olivia ran home from school as fast as she could. Mom, she began, may I go to the pet store? Her mom said she could, as Olivia quickly walked the two blocks to the store, humming as she went. She opened the door and walked up to the storekeeper, and the expression on Olivia's face showed that she wasn't happy. Well, I put that bell in his cage, but that silly parakeet still won't talk to me or sing. Olivia said to the man. That's strange. You mean he walked up and down his ladder, then pecked at his bell, and he still wouldn't sing to you? The storekeeper asked Olivia. Ladder? What ladder? Olivia asked. A parakeet needs a ladder, just as you might walk around the block or run around a track to get exercise. You see, a bird will walk up and down a ladder to get the blood moving, and then he will feel like getting going for the day. How much for a ladder? Three dollars, replied the storekeeper. Olivia left the store with ladder. She went home and put the ladder in the cage, propped up by the bell. The next day, right after school, Olivia again asked her mom if she could go to the pet store, and her mom said it was okay. This was now the fourth straight day she'd been there. Olivia was really getting upset now. The storekeeper wasn't to be seen right away, but Olivia found him. 
That is really some dumb bird you sold me. I put the ladder in his cage right next to the bell, and he still doesn't sing. Hmm, that's strange, began the storekeeper. You mean he walked up and down his ladder, made himself pretty in front of the mirror, pecked at his bell, and he still wouldn't sing to you? Wait a minute, said Olivia. What mirror? He did go up and down the ladder, pecked at that bell, but he doesn't have a mirror to look in. Oh, my. The storekeeper sighed. You look in the mirror every morning to see how you look, don't you? Well, the parakeet is a very proud bird, and he needs to look into the mirror to see how he looks. How much for the mirror? The mirrors are on special, only two dollars. The storekeeper rang up the mirror and gave it to Olivia, who hadn't realized how much this little bird was going to cost her. The next day, Olivia walked slowly to the pet store, carrying a small bag in her hand. She went straight over to the storekeeper and said, That bird you sold me died. What? The storekeeper asked. You mean to say the parakeet you got just last Saturday died? Yes, said Olivia. And I even put that mirror right down near the bottom of the cage so he could look at himself. And then he died. Did he ever sing for you? Asked the storekeeper. He never sang, said Olivia. But he did finally talk. Really? What did he say? Asked the storekeeper. Well, said Olivia, he did like you said he would do. He walked up and down the ladder several times. Then he went over to the mirror and seemed to puff out his chest as he saw himself there in the mirror. Then he hopped over to the bell and pecked it. And then he just fell over, rolled on his back, and stuck his feet straight up in the air. But you said he talked, said the storekeeper. Oh, yes, remembered Olivia. Right before he fell over, he looked right at me and said, Didn't the storekeeper have any bird seed? The end. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. You're welcome, Mike.